You're watching The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlamagne Tha Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building. I have no idea who this is. Rob Riley from <laughs> Hit The Floor. Wow, I just Bob, know that Bob. these hoes like this. <laughs> That's all you I know. Sound a little you sound like a already. hater. Hey, look, everybody got their wheelhouse, bro. You know what I mean? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a wheelhouse. <laughs> you got a wheelhouse. You in it right now with the Remy in front of the mic. Oh, you okay. Good. You're right. You want a drink? <laughs> Please and thank you. My brother. Now Come on, man. Taylor, go get him a cup. Go fetch him a cup. It ain't never too much. Why you fetch? You ain't got to fetch it. You could get it, please, though. There you go. You know what she <laughs> never, got manners? She's oh, he never did. in here during any interview. Soon she's as you come, always she's in hey, here. I appreciate it, Fun Size. Pre mm -hmm. Thank no, you, Phil, man. Yes. So that's what she said. She told you her name was Fun Size. Her name was Fun Size. Taylor shot her shot. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, she said her name was Fun Size. Nah, I had oh, met her at I met her at Made in America last year. I happened to just oh, I randomly met her. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I don't remember. Wait, this is weird. I don't weird. think that was. Did you take it down? I, <laughs> and she, she she said my name is Fun, fun Size. <laughs> fun Size back in the room. Come here, Fun Size. Your name is Fun Size. Wow. <laughs> Give me the cups, Fun Size. Man, please, on, man, wow. Man. <laughs> may I have my wow. chalice, my dear? Thank you, my wow, dear. Wow, fun side. Fun side. <laughs> Please, I ain't you, never sir. heard you shoot your shot like that, Taylor. <laughs> shot her shot. I thought your name was Taylor. Thank you, sir. There you go, you. my brother. I appreciate that. All right, well, that. Rob, thanks Cheers, man. for coming no up. Doubt. Cheers. <laughs> to Dick Gregory. <laughs> to Today, Dick Gregory. congratulations on, what is it, the third season? Yeah, third season. That's right. There was a, a bit of a break, though, in between seasons. Yeah, yeah. It took a little while for the third season to come back. Um, I don't really have an explanation for that. It was a mm -hmm. network thing. Um, we shot the season the way we normally do, which is January to April last year, but it just took a while for it to come back. So, so you dance, right? Nah, well, I mean, like, I thought hit the floor was a dancing <laughs> thing. Nah, nah, nah. I play one of the basketball players on hit the floor. Basketball player. Nah, there's a lot of dancing. Oh, there's hella dancers on hit the floor. I ain't one of them. Nah. I thought you was one of them Billy Blank dudes. Like, nah, I I baby. Yeah, yeah. Nah, <laughs> nah. You catch you me in a carnival, I might be dancing. You know, a little gotcha. Rihanna work, work, work. But oh, that's okay, about okay. it. Nah, gotcha. nah, that's, that's it. So you're he actor? Plays, yes, sir. He plays right. a basketball player on the show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't I know hit the floor. The only thing I remember the I thought hit the floor was about cheerleaders. It is. It is, right? Yeah, it's yeah. about this. So it's about a fake basketball team called the Los Angeles Devils. And then you've got the dancers, which are the devil girls, kind of like right. the Lakers girls. And they're supposed to be a big deal. And, and uh, the show is basically a little nighttime soap opera. You smash a lot of the extra cheerleaders? Um, you talking about in real life or on the show? On the show. Oh, on the show, I got a girlfriend. My girlfriend's the other lead character. On I'm the talking show. about like when you're not on the show. You know? Oh, oh, like when they, you know, because I know they gotta have extras and stuff. This, this, this seven, man. This Stop it. Hey, hey, that was a photo shoot, MV. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were seven. You're not nah, seven. nah, nah. We're not dating. You can't date seven, bro. <laughs> Why is that? Seven runs through guys. Shut up, she does <laughs> not. Seven, seven treats guys the way Don't we treat say girls, that. Stop bro. It. And she I love does seven. Not. Seven mm. is no. Joke. Seven is a beast. This Remy is delicious. Why are you <laughs> Seven was actually at my house just now when she, when she was in town, but right before you guys had that photo shoot. Oh, word? Yeah, she always comes. Um, when she comes to Brooklyn, because the photo shoot was in Brooklyn, she always comes and stays with me because that's like my... Homegirl. Oh, that's dope. I bounced her up in Atlanta. You um, bounced her up? Whoa, wow. don't say Whoa, it like on. that. Whoa, hey, hey, hey. Wow. Like all that. right, I'm Caribbean, first wow. of all, so you know what that is. All right, I'm, let me translate that. I bumped into Seven in Atlanta <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> for all of the non-Caribbean speaking people. Um, I bounced up with, uh, with her in Atlanta, and uh, I got a chance to listen to some of her new music, which mm -hmm. was fantastic. She's got some heat coming. So. We call her Seven Squared in the street. Shut oh, up. Lord. Don't say that about She's going to be very offended, okay? I love Seven. Seven know I love her. Well, then stop making things up. She don't run seven through no guys. Seven is a man-eater, dog. <laughs> seven, don't play with, seven don't play with no hoes now, I'm telling you. Who do you know that she dated besides B.O.B.? Uh, I ain't say date. I just say she run through dude. I stopped she ran through. I know a few. Seven the homie. Leave seven alone. <laughs> I ain't say she having sex with him, but you know, she'll take you out. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. And then kick you to the curb. Like, <laughs> I ain't feeling him no more. <laughs> hey, it, it happens. You know, she, she a lady. She can have a discretion. That's true. Mm -hmm. And you Rob, know? you're single, right? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. No, so he no, said. That's I'm a good. Bull, no, that's a bull. <laughs> that sounded fake. Yeah, I'm no, good. No, I got I'm a girl, good. but I ain't about to claim it. Whoa, whoa. Now, nah, you, 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 you ask me. <laughs> Do I am I am I all right in my love life? I'm 100 percent fine. Yeah, I got somebody that that uh, holds me down, so I'm good in that department. Do so I you know got a million sugar stain. You I got sure, one. Oh, for sure, for okay. sure. Nah. Do we do we know her up here? Has she ever been a guest on this show? Nah, 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 nah. Okay, I'm thinking of nah. somebody else. You thinking somebody thinking else? You thinking about you thinking about oh some Ooh. you know from a while a while ago? Who you? Who? Claudia Jordan. That was a while. It was a while okay, ago. Okay, Young C Murder. <laughs> <laughs> Claudia bad. She just got some ugly feet. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> this is so delicious. Did you ever Man. 
What? Who? You suck Claudia told? Nah, man. You, you, got, you, got, you, with you had to suck a You toe. got the wrong. You got the wrong one. You know how Pepsi was. You got the right one. You got the wrong uh, one, baby. How long was y'all together? <clears throat> Hello, you. Hello, you. I don't know. Y'all use such toes. strong words, man. She's beautiful. Together and Together. all <laughs> and toes. Where's what's the vocabulary this morning? Word, toes. These are so strong. You don't suck toes? Mm, no, man. Why, you, no. Sound, you sound disappointed. Yeah, Why are no. you disappointed? What's with the toe sucking? What is that? Why is that a thing? Because they there. But uh, there's a lot of stuff that's there to Shall suck. You, like, suck toes? you know, yeah. uh, Vagina, nipples clitoris. and vaginas and clitorises you and all kinds of other things. Where is this show going this morning? <laughs> Why what, does it feel you, like you're flirting? I feel like yeah, I feel like it some feels like, like a, he's flirting. I feel like there's a chick that you know that's trying to get information. Is this for fun size? Fun size? You could just ask me this stuff. Come here. You could have just asked me this stuff in the hallway. Tell your question, girl. Taylor. <laughs> Taylor. <laughs> does he suck toes? Does he eat? Ask him. Ask him fun size. I'm gonna talk to you later, fun size. I'm there you go. <laughs> now, Rob, you you've been in a, a few other things uh, before, yeah. but this is kind of your breakout role that people yeah, yeah. really know you from. Do people ever confuse your character? Like when they see you out, they're like, "I hate your girlfriend." No. Oh, all the time. Mm -hmm. All oh, all the time. Please and thank you. <laughs> yeah, no, they definitely do that. And people call me Terrence, you know, but it's cool. I don't mind. Call me whatever you want. Just call me. I'm I'm happy to have a a, a thing to be called in the street. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You don't ever want to get into that point where you're like the character. Is bigger than you though. Like you know, every time you see Jaleel White, you like Ergo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But hey, look, those are champagne problems, man. Because if your bank account right, it don't That's matter. It don't, you can call fact. me. Listen, That's you can call me Urkel. That's a you fact. know what I'm saying? Did so I do that? I sure did. So your character, you would say, is like a Kobe Bryant. Yes, he's definitely like a Kobe oh, Bryant. Kobe in the Bryant, squad. fun size. Yeah, okay, obviously we got the connection. It's just it goes Kobe deeper. Kobe Bryant loves sodomy. He loves putting his, his penis in girls' asses. What? How do you know this for a fact? He got arrested for it. it, but one time. it's one time it. like that. You that, come on now, you don't just do that <laughs> once to a random desk clerk. It. All right, well that's that's true. You don't do that just once to a random desk clerk. But, but still, that doesn't mean he loves it. He might dabble. Right. <laughs> he might dabble. Or he might look at it like dabble if I'm cheating, I'm just gonna do this because it's not really cheating. She can't get pregnant. It might be just for. Yeah. Nah, that's still cheating. No, that's still cheating. That's cheating. I mean, in his head, maybe. No, that's beyond. His cheating. head is really, really up. If that's the case, I would <laughs> rather my wife find out that I had sex with a girl, but then like you sodomized another woman. Besides me. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's Besides weird. me. Some things have to be sacred. <laughs> so, what's your team though? Like in real um, life, what's your team? Basketball? Mm -hmm. the, uh, you're from Brooklyn. I'm from Brooklyn. So Brooklyn. I'm going to hope, I went to the Nets game, I'm going to hope you say the Brooklyn Nets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, come the on, Nets. you give Brooklyn a squad, there's no, there's no way I'm not going to rep Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. Flatbush all day. I'm born I'm and Flatbush raised too. here. Yeah, Flatbush represent bop, bop. What does GBC what? mean? Guy Benson Collection. Okay. He actually yeah, got yeah. us some stuff. All I did, I brought you guys some stuff from, that's my, those my peoples in Flatbush. You know? Who's Guy Benson? Oh, it's, uh, uh, well, it's, it's actually a, bunch of dudes all put together okay so it's you know it's some haitian cats some brooklyn cats you know is that like the name of a project so nah not even it could be because, sure. because those yeah. dudes are thorough but it's uh it's just what they call you know their clothing line got you you know what i mean guess armani who those people are what's the flag for oh it's trinidad and barbados baby okay, okay i'm repping for my people you know if I was if I was Spanish or I had a Spanish last name, it'd be easy for you to tell that I was from another country. Why are you but since at me I, when you said Spanish? I listen, I looked up. I just <laughs> looked. I looked. I looked up. He looked in my direction. I'll just say, is that a bad thing? Nah. <laughs> you know, it's not, it's not no, a bad. Now, doesn't like when people say Spanish because he's Dominican and Spanish people are from Spain. Okay, Hispanic. There you go. He's I'm Afro. He's Afro Latino. I'm yeah, you definitely. Uh, Dasha was on here the other day. Yeah, Dasha Polanco from the perfect Dominican. match with me. So yeah, Afro Latinas. But nah, because of that, I you know so I'll, I'll bring my flags out so that you know I'm from Trinidad. I'm from I'm from Barbados, so I can rep for my people. Okay. You know, because every now and then I'll, I'll I'll go into my dialect, but if you don't understand it, there ain't no point in doing it. Don't you hate it. when people always say Caribbean? They just automatically think you're Jamaican. Man, that's terrible. The Caribbean is not just Jamaica and a bunch of other rocks that nobody cares about. Like God bless the yard, you know, Jamaicans, yardies. I love you, but it's it's everybody. The Caribbean right. is there's so many of us, so many different Montserrat. unique islands. Montserrat, Nobody yes, ever says I got Montserrat. A, <laughs> Nobody. I, I got an uncle from Montserrat, really? hundred percent. My mom's from Montserrat. So. The, all right, what? So that means we're related. That's so crazy. <laughs> I never met anybody else that knew anybody <laughs> from Montserrat. Just, yeah, I was just there for Christmas. Damn, mm -hmm. the island doesn't. They only got one beach that's not black sand, which is just volcanic ash. I don't right. even know how the island is still there. Is it's, it volcanic it's ash or actual black sand? It's volcanic it's, ash. The sand is black because it's a volcano. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. But it's nice, but you can't really walk on it because you'll burn the bottom of your feet. Yes, so you, you gotta will. wear 
something on your feet. Oh, so you've been to Montserrat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, I'm, I'm all up and down the islands, man. I try to keep, keep in touch with my roots. You actually gotcha. have a production company, right? I do, yes. Hollywood Massive. I did that. I, I created Holly, Hollywood Massive as a production company. It's twofold. It's a mass company, so I produce Carnival in Hollywood. It's actually like Labor Day down Hollywood Boulevard on mm-hmm. BET Weekend, June 25th this year. Wow. Um, There's a lot of Caribbean people in that? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we out there. And my whole point is to make sure that people like myself, even that are in uh, entertainment, highlight the fact that we're Caribbean because it gives it gives the generation in front of us something mm-hmm. to, be, be, to be proud of and the generation behind us something to be proud of because gotcha. I'll be on this truck in, in Labor Day two stories tall 100 yards away from somebody in full costume and people are screaming oh that's the dude from Hit the Floor. I right. can't believe he's Trini. I can't believe he's Bayesian. It's when nice I'm, to have that connection. Absolutely. Make people proud and say, I have something to aspire towards. A hundred percent. Big up all the Caribbean myself. Fun size T. Ask him if he's circumcised because he's Caribbean. <laughs> fun size. <laughs> Weird. Why would you think a Caribbean person wouldn't be circumcised? You go fun size. Oh, I, don't know. I, don't know. I mean, did she tell you the Kobe Bryant uh, story yet? You know what? I already saw the Kobe Bryant picture. Oh, um, she showed you? I, oh, we, she's wow, trying to get it. We, no, listen. God <laughs> damn. How old are you, bro? First of all, 35. Eh, she's only 24. <laughs> I'm a grown man. What do you want me to tell you? <laughs> <laughs> now, I saw you did an interview with Exo Nicole, and you said you're looking for a woman that's like your mom. Yeah, yeah. An, an independent. My mother's, I was raised by just my mother. Mm-hmm. So um, I, I, I look Don't for. Don't say too much, because then she's going to start acting like your mother soon. <laughs> <as> you <laughs> Don't say too much. But if she's going to start <laughs> acting like my mother, then she's going to have to talk like this. And if you ain't have an accent, then you ain't going to act like my mother. All right? So stop it. Stop it. You have to cook rice and pizza and curry and thing. But um, no, it's I, I do look for people for strong women you know independent women my mother raised myself and my brother um, and provided for three people in my house because my grandmother came over from Trinidad to help raise us and she did that all by herself you know um, moved here at 26 from Trinidad and found a good job and and, um, you know got her little banking certificate and went to college and whatnot so I, I know what a woman is capable of. So I don't ever try to put a woman in a box and say, well, you can only be this, or you're supposed to. I don't want somebody that's going to walk behind me. Mm-hmm. I also don't want somebody that's going to try to walk in front of me. Right. I need somebody that's going to walk right next to me. Right. You know yeah, they're I mean? saying all the right things. Yeah, and all, hey, and all these women got. excited. Hey, it's just the way it is, man. I, 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 you will hear me say that. I've been saying that from the very beginning. You know what I mean? That's one thing. Is this, I'm consistent with that, because that's literally how I think about my moms. If it wasn't for her, it's like my moms was a super mom. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Right. To be able to make it out of flat Brooklyn mm-hmm. and have not got caught up because it's I mean I was kicking crack balls off of what was not even a basketball court shooting right. into a milk crate that was stolen from the corner store right. that was tacked up to a boarded window right. you know what I mean so if your moms can help you get through that and not get caught up then she's super mom so unfortunately for all the ladies out there that's the bar that I got Damn for right. you, high bar, you know, right. it's, a, it's a high bar you where know was, where was pops at pops was a bum um, and was here in Brooklyn raising another family. My, they were married. He decided to step out. Um, you know, got a crazy lady pregnant. She made my mom's life horrible, and she, oh, my mom awesome. decided it was time to go. So, uh, you know, did he, he come around now try to claim you because you? Nah, you he actually he passed away in 2008. Oh, okay. Um, so uh, I never really got the chance to to know him. He lost his visitation rights when I was about two years old. You know, so it, it was, it's one of those situations where I wasn't raised by my pops at all. Don't know much about him. So my Bayesian, my whole Bayesian family, that whole side is something I'm now learning. Mm-hmm. I was raised Trinidadian. I was raised with my my mother, and my Trini grandmother. So the Bayesian side is something I'm I'm running through Barbados trying to find my family right now, all mm-hmm. because some dude couldn't you know get it together. Have you ever ran through Rihanna in Barbados? No, I've I've run into Rihanna in Barbados, okay. but I never ran through Miss Fenty in Barbados. Do you no. know her, like y'all? I mean, well, we we people's enough because when we from the same place, we was in Carnival together last year in Crop Over. We ended up on the same truck, you know. We've we've been to a couple events, you know, at the so same y'all time. Y'all teeth at each other when y'all see each other? Every now and then. <laughs> 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 it's so stop it, man. Cut your boy. They, they, call, they call it strips. What do they call it? Strips. 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 S T E U P S E. Strips. That's like whistling. That, nah, that's something you say when you're upset. When you like, when you're done with somebody. Yeah. I ain't had no time for stop, that. Please, exactly. Stop, stop, on, it, stop. stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Next time somebody say something stupid, you're like, mine ain't loud enough. <laughs> and plus, you do too much. You're duck lipping it too much. <laughs> you're right? Duck lipping the strips right now. <laughs> Look at his I'm mouth. gonna need you to keep the strips real regular and so not through the teeth. Oh, yeah, just, stop, man. You just the the lips can retract the lips. Yeah. Just. <laughs> <laughs> so have a lot of other actors helped you out? Would you say 
as um, you were coming up in this, like I know there's a lot of people from Brooklyn maybe reached out to you like, yo, if you need a mentor. Nah, that didn't happen. Um, no, there was none of that. I, I, I went to grad school. I got my master's. I came out um, and was on the, I did like 18 months of regional theater. And after that, I was on Broadway. I, I underst- understudied Terrence Howard. Cat in a Hot Tin Roof. Cat in a Hot Tin Roof. I to go see that. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was awesome. I mean, I was there. Uh, I played one of the waiters in the house when I didn't play the lead role that he played, which I got to do 23 times, right. which was 15% of our show. So that was amazing. That's an incredible experience. And uh, I got to wrestle with, you know, James Earl Jones on stage, which is a dream come true that I never even had because I don't sing and dance like that. And getting back to hit the floor, mm-hmm. I'm just, I'm an actor. I tell mm-hmm. stories. So when you're coming up like that, you don't think about Broadway as being where you're going to go because we think of Broadway, we think of song and dance and, you know, um, spirit fingers and all that good stuff. I can see you in Hamilton, though. I, yes, you know what? One of my boys is in Hamilton. Uh, Okierte is in Hamilton, and we were uh, in uh, a show together at uh, in the Old Globe in San Diego. Mm-hmm. But... I mean, it, it's, I just, I pay, I just, you know, worked. Mm-hmm. I just, I got one job after the other. I kept at it. I did have people that were able to give me great advice mm-hmm. while I was in their presence, but nobody that like took me under their wing. How, how did you get in the perfect match? The perfect match, um, Billy Woodruff, our director, shout out to Billy Woodruff. Um, he directed two episodes of Hit the Floor this mm-hmm. season. And after working on that, I got a call to audition for, uh, for the perfect match. And I actually originally auditioned for the role of Rick, which is what Donald played. And um, next thing you know, a month and a half later, they gave me a call and they said, uh, we'd like you to play Victor. And I was just like, I'm just down. So you let me know what the, you know, we'll see what this role is. I'm, uh, the movie's funny. It's great. I, at the time, I didn't know all these people were attached to it. I didn't know it was Terrence J and Dasha Polanco and Brandy and Paula Patton and any, you know, Bo Casper Smart. And I'm, I'm opposite Lauren London and Cassie. And I didn't know that that was the whole movie. I didn't know Lionsgate was going to pick it up and it was going to be this big thing. Right. So it's it's been a blessing to, to, to have that going on at the same time and have Hit the Floor going on in season three and, mm-hmm. you know, just good looking out, God. <laughs> so Yeah, things are going well. Yeah, yeah, I can't complain. You wearing your Condoms? You, you better, because I know a lot of girls trying to trap you right now. Well, nah, nah, I'm, I'm, mm-hmm. uh, I'm, I'm like the Matrix with that. I'm good. I'm good. Plus, like I said, I got my, you know, I got my boo boo, so I'm alright. Damn, sorry, Taylor. <laughs> you got a boo boo. <laughs> well, hit the floor comes on March 28th. VH1, you can give him some though. 10 p.m. <laughs> yes, season finale. Hit the you floor yes, Monday. Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> my you just excerpted my yes to envy and threw it to Taylor. <laughs> My goodness, I right. yeah. really appreciate you joining us. Yo, thanks for having me, fam. Oh, Don't do fun times too dirty, man. Nah, she nah, you, man. nah. Nah, she, she showed you a picture with Kobe, so you know she's in love. She trying oh. hard. Hey, look, you fun, I fun size. Showed that. I appreciate you, ma. I appreciate it. Yeah, he ain't say you cute or nothing. He was like, I, I appreciate um, you. I was about to say, y'all don't know that Fun Size is cute as hell. Y'all, we in here joking on her, but Fun Size is a very attractive young lady. Oh, look at her now. Oh, uh, look at her now. Yeah. Look, at her. <laughs> look at, All right. y'all ain't got an ugly person working in the building, so I go ahead. Good, good job, Monday y'all. That's Monday coming on Monday. Uh, <laughs> hashtag MCM. <laughs> she, she, she's going to take that and put it on her Instagram. Watch. That one little clip. <laughs> fun Size team, mad attractive. Watch. Rob Riley, <laughs> it's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Yo. <laughs> The Breakfast Club, every weekday morning. Tune in.